In this episode of OS First Timer, Dinah's gonna turn Windows 7 into Mac OS X Snow Leopard. Will she end up liking the new look, or will she destroy it out of disgust? Keep watching to find out. So here you are on the desktop of Windows 7, and today you're going to be trying out the Snow Transformation Pack 1.0, which was released in 2010 for the purpose of making a computer running Windows 7 from 2009 have a visual appearance that looks similar to Mac OS X Snow Leopard from 2009. First of all, let's take a look at Windows 7 here. You know, you've got the start menu here, the glassy appearance with arrow. Um... I remember Windows 7 very well, but why would you want to transform from a... Windows to a Mac. Wouldn't you want to transform from a Mac to a Windows appearance? Some people like the look of Mac. Maybe they can't afford a Mac. That was kind of the excuse back then for why people would do it. Let's take a look at an image of the real Snow Leopard so we can see what look this pack is going for. Mm -hmm. So this is Mac OS X Snow Leopard. Well, he's not really in the snow, is he? That's just a picture of an actual Snow Leopard I thought I'd show you. But it's not even a Snow ne Leopard. It's not in the snow. And yeah, but is that Snow really Leopards a... doesn't... It, 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 don't be tokenistic. Not really. <laughs> I'm <laughs> joking. Snow Leopard... You expect them in the snow. They don't have to always be in the snow. I'd this... be interested to see what the desktop background is of the snow leopard and see if it is actually a leopard in the snow. Well, this is what the background of snow leopard looks like, and it's actually a space background by default. Oh, that makes complete <laughs> sense. But anyway, this is what it looks like. So you've got your Mac top bar at the top, you've got a little red, yeah, yellow, and green those. circle as opposed yep. to sort of this. It's not yep. a glassy look. It's like a, a metal look. I, I don't know what you'd call it. It's like a shiny metal. It's a shiny metal, and there are a little bit of transparency formations with the colour there, so it's yep. not like one solid colour. And then you've got the dock at the bottom, very yep. reflective and futuristic as well for the time. And that is what you're going to try and make Windows 7 turn into. So these are going to be small icons, and that just helps when you actually use this transformation okay. pack. That's a pack, so I'm assuming yep. I double click that. Welcome to the Snow Transformation Pack. This will apply Snow Leopard GUI transformation to your Windows operating system. Look at the contact details for this. Contact. Oh. Lucifer at Hotmail. <laughs> Seriously? So the devil's in charge of this. <laughs> and as you can see, you could scroll down, don't use it until you've read all of this. It does say here, before starting transformation, Snow Transformation Pack also changes some system files and system registries that could make any problem to your system. Could you, make any problem. The grammar has exactly, been a little bit yeah. off here, yeah. Maybe it was a translation. You have to decide to use it yourself, and it will not be the author's fault if Snow Transformation pack cause any problems to the system. Oh dear. So anyway, I continue. don't think I want to. I, I do not accept the <laughs> terms and conditions back. I found this one overall was pretty stable, but some other ones can be hard to okay. install some transformation packs. You go to uninstall it and then you get all this corruption But we're issues. doing this in an emulator anyway. In a virtual machine. And yep, you'll just get the completed version and you're ready. Transform. Okay. So it's just going to transform it? Yep, it's going to do all the trans... See, it's deploying so I don't Snow have Leopard to resource files. May do each individual minutes. thing, the dock, the background. I, I, it just That's the idea. Thing. It's basically a bunch of different programs and stuff that this mm -hmm. person sort of put together in a single unified pack. Right. That's why it's called the Transformation Pack because it includes all these programs, like the one program for the dock, one program for this, one for the icons to change the icons of the so system. So we're transforming Windows 7. What is it compatible with? Is it any Windows operating system up until even Windows 10? This one specifically was for Windows 7. Seven, okay. Because it was released, you know, before these other ones were released. Okay. Anyway, it's finished. It's going to restart your system. Okay. So click OK. And as we shut down, Mac oh, OS X no. shutting down. You always feel like you've got a Mac already. 10.6 shutting down. And let's boot up now. Now it's in starting Windows. <laughs> you couldn't change this. <laughs> you, 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 <laughs> shut boot, down Mac. You're shutting down Mac. And you're starting Windows. It's like you've okay. got a boot camp installed on a Mac. Oh, that's really <laughs> funny. Now, how does that work? But now we're in Mac. You're starting Windows, <laughs> then Mac OS. <laughs> anyway. I really like that. So shut down Mac, start up Windows, Windows and, and now, now you're on the Mac, Mac login screen. So you're now Complete on the Mac sense. login screen for Windows 7. <laughs> Okay. So type in your password and let's uh, check the desktop out. Okay, we're now on the desktop. Just one quick thing I want to do to adjust this is... Make this dock a little bit bigger, just so it feels more like a, you know, Mac. Yeah, and making that's right. How does that feel? Yeah, that, that looks good. Does that look quite like the Mac you saw previously? It looks exactly like the Mac I saw previously. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? It does. So have a little play around with the dock for a moment. 
Yeah. And even click on those folders thing that you see there. So that one, right? That yeah. one. And look how it springs up. And that's what yeah. a Mac does. And close yeah. it again. See how it does that? Okay, feel free to open that. Yeah, well, funny thing. Even though I'm a Windows user and yeah. I'm so used to the taskbar at the bottom with all the little things... This is really animated. And yeah, it's, it's quite pretty. It's quite yeah. nice. Yeah, like it's aesthetically pleasing to, it to be- see it like this. It was 2009. It was before all the operating systems decided, mm. let's go flat and let's go ugly. It was when everything, see, it's all shiny and reflective. Yeah, it's really quite nice. It was nice. a pretty oh, time. That. It's like it's sitting on a, yeah, yeah as a you pretty say, glass look, look at the reflection, reflection yeah. there. Exactly. And it even springs up like that too. That's what another happens? thing you could do. I didn't know it could do it like that, but know. okay. Is that an uh, error? Did so, I do something wrong? How did I even do that in my pictures? Yep. And look at that. It feels like a Mac. So instead of the glass feel, you know, you've got this metal feel. Yeah, traffic what you light. call the traffic lights in the top. Oh, but what's yep. wrong? Where are the traffic lights supposed to be on you, a Mac? On this side, isn't Correct. it? Correct. Yeah, that's right. So why are they there? Did they forget when they were doing the transformation from Windows to Mac, they just forgot to put it on? The, the transformation pack doesn't include the ability to move it from that side to that side, oh, unfortunately. Oh, so it just made it. Now, okay. click on computer here. Even the hard disk drive... These icons here are all Mac icons. See, they that's are. not the Windows 7 hard disk drive. Another thing to show off here is in that photo you saw before, they usually have the Macintosh HD in the corner up there. Yeah. We can do that. All you have to do is come over to here and just make a little shortcut on the desktop of our C drive and type Macintosh <laughs> HD. <laughs> Boom. We've got it. How come it didn't do it itself because it's supposed to convert it to a Mac look? Why didn't it that... I guess it didn't think of that as like something, you know, essential that it had to do. But yeah, this is this is pretty incredible. It doesn't even feel like Windows anymore. No, now, it doesn't at all. There is a way where you can try... But does it function like a Windows? It's still, it's compatible with everything Windows is compatible. It's a look. Okay. It's a thing. So it's literally it's just feeling. the look. Yeah, it's a look. And, of course, like, the dock, too, is, yeah. I guess, more than a look. It's an actual functioning thing. Uh, but anyway, and, and, you know, your bar at the top here, mm-hmm. you know, and everything. It's got the little Apple symbol up there. Yeah, the Apple symbol. That's right. You're clicking, you know, but it's all the Windows, and this is a Windows 7 start menu. Now, something you can do here is these, if that really bugs you, there is a program. Seriously, there's always some, a program or an app. Called Left Sider. Now, this isn't specifically um, for... Left side. <laughs> yeah, it gets all of these buttons on the left side. It's not specifically... You can do this with when it's normal Windows mode. Mm-hmm. Well, this is separate to the transformation pack. So what you do is you'd install this program. And did you notice... Watch the cursor yep. and the little loading thing. Did you see? Yeah, that's the Mac It's loading. the Mac loading... It's not the Windows. It's not the yeah. Windows timer flipping up yep. and down. On that topic, look. They're on the left side now. now but just... that looks messy. Just, well... It doesn't really work. And it doesn't work with all programs. Open Recycle Bin, oh, they're on that side now. Oh, no. How much space does all this take? Like, for instance, the Transformation Pack, how much space does it take? The Transformation Pack is literally, if we go to properties here, it's less than 30 megabytes. Okay, so it, it doesn't take up much space. Now, does it make it laggy or slower when you're doing things? This dock, as pretty and nice as it is... Mm. It unfortunately, it, it looks great and stuff, but it's not actually super stable. Uh, if you're using it on a daily basis, you'll notice you click on something and then the whole dock disappears and crashes. Oh, whoops, oh, we're gone. no, really? So it's a pretty dock, but it's not super stable. That was fixed in Transformation Pack 1.5. Right. Released later in the year. They just swapped this dock um, out for something called Rocket Dock, which was more stable. Okay, but does it look exactly the same as that? No. I actually don't know. Okay. It's called RK Launcher, but you can make the dock size really small. But What's then the still explosively go quite big. Oh, I guess so. Or if you like, you can make it quite big, but not magnify much. If you don't like yeah, that magnifying thing, I or see. you can just make it magnify lots. You know, it's it's up to you how that... Make it extra small, but hugely magnified <laughs> small. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's actually quite funny. That would be good if you were doing something and you didn't really want it, you know, interfering with exactly. what you're doing. <laughs> but then it might scare you if you accidentally <laughs> run the cursor over and it just pops up. Yeah, exactly. Like so a jump I think scare. something like that is good. Um, you can also choose the amount of items to magnify, like if you only want three magnified items. Yeah. Or if you do like it with a lot magnifying C. 
which yeah, I prefer I myself. And you can also have transparency if that bottom thing, you, you want them. So just move it up and down. And you'll see oh, it, makes the, it makes the, the thing they're sitting on disappear. Oh, but it's still reflective. It's Correct. disappeared, but it's reflective. Correct. That's actually quite interesting. Yeah. And then completely there, but it's still reflective. Yeah, so it's it's how... You know what? You kind of I mean, like that look well, better. Well, I actually like that look, or I probably like it sort of like somewhere there. Yeah, got That's it. the look I like. Yeah. Because I like that silvery sort of thing. But... Just for something different, I'm going to just do that. So I remember these transformation packs back when I was actually in high school. I've opened up a little uh, thing on the Mac dock and it says, Welcome to Windows Media Center. Yeah, they, they didn't go all out and change every single program. Imagine it was if just they did. The general theming. Um, but these were actually super popular when I was back in high school. I remember quite a nerdy person in a higher grade than me was sitting in the school library at lunchtime, pointing at his computer running Windows XP, and he'd made it look Look like Windows Vista with a transformation pack. I just made something disappear. Yeah, if you pull things out of the dock, they they disappear. They just go. Yeah. I thought they'd go onto the desktop. Anyway, he made XP look like Vista with a transformation pack, and he proudly and dramatically said, Behold, my computer has the glamour and looks of Windows Vista, but with the speed and stability of Windows XP. Like, it sounded like something, you know, he was so proud to just say in front of everyone. Yep. And as a finishing, uh, yeah. But anyway... Wait, what, you just got rid of everything. <laughs> I did. I destroyed the transformation <laughs> pack. They like destroying videos, so I just destroyed them. Transformation pack and the time it took you to yap on about whatever you were yapping on about. Wait, so you didn't even listen to me? No, because I was just watching everything being destroyed. <laughs> well, the viewers heard. But by Tell the way, just for now, some... Anyway. No, just for I'm some... I'm just curious. Okay, I'm just going to cut out me telling Diana. <laughs> so back when I was in high school, these were quite popular. The reason he said, you know, it looks like Vista and it's pretty, but it mm -hmm. has a speed and stability of Windows XP is because Vista at the time was really heavy to run and it slowed the computer oh. down. So running XP and making it look like Vista actually ran a lot better. Yeah, I see. So that's what he was going on about there. Got anyway... It. That is pretty much everything. What do you rate Transformation Pack now that you've destroyed it? No, no, no. Give me... I, I, I'm, just, I want to try and... No, no, no. Stop. Stop. I, I want to... Oh, wait. I, I put something in there. No. Just just wait. Oh, no. No, I just want to... What? Is that what you think of it? You didn't even look at the Welcome Centre. We never opened the Welcome <laughs> we'll, Centre. We'll open the Welcome Centre in a sec. That, that can't be... It's opened by oh. Microsoft and Carter, apparently. But that's also opened by <laughs> Left Sider. <laughs> That's just a shortcut. Oh, well, it's gone. <laughs> anyway. So you're happy that you emptied it? So overall... So I basically destroyed Mac. It's not destroying a well, Mac it is. information Look. pack. Okay, well, where's the Windows 7 desktop background? <laughs> Personalised. There yep. we go. You're just trying to destroy this. But what about the bar at the top? Should it be at the bottom? So you're trying to turn it back... Without using the uninstaller, you're trying to turn it back. Yep. Good job. You're trying to turn <laughs> it back into Windows 7. you still got the shadow up there. It's a bit confused. So now you've got big icons. You're getting pretty close back to Windows, but you've still got Mac icons. Mm -hmm. And you've still got, instead of the Windows logo, it's the <laughs> oh, Apple. That actually looks really funny. <laughs> it really doesn't look like it's in place, does it? No. So what did you think of the um, Mac transformation pack before you destroyed it? Yeah. You look, still got the fancy map. It was good, but look, it's quite disappointing what you said about it not being stable because in that I know it, there it got was a, stable. I later. know it got stable later, but you said it got rid of that prettier sort of. I don't know. I'd have to kind of see how that went. On oh, this was a little um, where if you want to remove it, you click here. If you think you have enough Snow Leopard experiences and want to quit. Click here to uninstall Snow Leopard Transformation. No. Pack. Like, out of 10, what do you rate this? No, I think it's great. I mean, look. Back, back before you destroyed it, yeah. It's very fast. I, I like the fact it doesn't take up much space yep. on your computer. It doesn't seem to be laggy either. Um, and it's fast and it does everything except for the left sider thing. So if yeah. you wanted to get, you know. But then even left sider doesn't really even it work. It doesn't even at all. Yeah. Oh, look, back to normal Windows shutting down now. Yep. So we've successfully uninstalled the pack. Windows 7 turned into Mac and then turned back into Windows 7. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of OS First Timer and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Yep.